All right, so you may or may not have heard of Armando Galarraga. He's a pitcher for the Tigers. He has never pitched more than seven, at seven innings in his major league career. And last night, he was robbed of a perfect game. He got 26 up, he got 26 down. Number 25 was an amazing catch by Austin Jackson in center field. A Willie Mays type of catch. It, it was an amazing catch. At that point, you're, you're feeling, okay, he's got to get the perfect game. He's made it this far. He gets the amazing catch. There's always an amazing catch or play somewhere. And that was definitely one of them. There was an earlier one where a ball, he either kicks, like it goes off his foot like he kicks it, or it hits off his glove. I can't remember what happened, but it goes to either a shortstop or a third baseman, and they throw the guy out at first. That was like the fifth inning or so. And at that point, you're thinking, okay, he's doing pretty good. He gets that out. Maybe he'll get he'll get something here. And then, like I said, then you get to the ninth inning, and there's two outs. So I had to watch it on ESPN, how they always cut to perfect game or whatever, no hitter stuff. They always cut to the ninth inning. And um, they did that. However, in Illinois, or at least... Upper Illinois area, I'm not sure. There was, I'm not sure what baseball game was supposed to be played on ESPN, but it was blacked out, so we had ESPN Knicks. My guess is probably the Cubs game. Um, but I don't know why they would show the Cubs. Nor would I just know, because I know the White Sox game with them, but I have no idea why they show the White Sox playing the uh, Texas Rangers either. Uh, anyway, so we get ESPN News. However, it's not switching the, over to ESPN, which you would think. They should have. I mean, they s everywhere else where the game would have been shown or whatever, or they're filling in the footage because whatever, they switched over to the game, but they didn't do it here. So I could not watch what was happening. But they were talking about it, but they couldn't show it for probably for legal and copyright reasons. So that, and that's that's frustrating right there. So I can't see what's happening. But they're talking. Okay, he's got one out. He gets two outs. Third up. Donald, um, Jason Donald. Jason Donald was the last batter of the game. Or should have been. He hits a ball that's probably about halfway between first and second. Miguel Cabrera gets to the ball. Miguel Cabrera throws the ball to Galarraga. Galarraga is on the base with the ball in his glove at least a step, maybe even two steps before Donald gets to the bag. And Jim Joyce, the first base umpire, who I've always had a lot of respect for, and uh, he's been ranked as a favorite umpire by a lot of the players for the past couple of years. 22 years in the majors as an umpire and he blows the call. He clearly blows the call. Um, I could not watch it live like I said but I've seen the replay over and over again and um, he called him safe. Galaria promptly smiles and goes <laughs> Pretty much, are you kidding me? Seriously, are you kidding me? This is a joke, right? What, what, no? And then everyone uh, comes out to um, argue the call. It's like, Joyce, what are you thinking? Honestly, if I was the first base umpire making that call, if it's anywhere near close, if, anywhere, and, and he was out, but if it is anywhere near close at all, I'm calling him out. It's a perfect game. But Joyce makes the wrong call and calls him safe. The game goes on. Colorado gets the next guy out. It's a one-hitter. Clearly, at that point, I'm thinking, I'm in shock and awe. What, what are you doing? I've, and this leads to a bunch of things. One, the ethical issue of should Bud Selig do something about this. And I'll talk to you in a minute about Bud Selig. Because, um, that man, there is something wrong with him. And this is technically kind of his fault, too. <laughs> oh, Bud Selig, we're getting to you in a minute. But, um, Joyce, after the game, uh, watches the replay and like, I made a mistake. He's, like, he's biggest call of his career, and he says, I blow it. I blew it. I just cost that kid a perfect game. He talked to Galarraga and Leland and he apologized. Leland and Galarraga 
could only... They didn't say anything bad about Joyce. Just... Kind of... And, um... This can all have been solved with Instant Replay. Instant Replay currently, only a few seasons ago, was implemented in the postseason to see if home runs were fair or foul, or if they were a ground rule double, like a double or whatever, or fanning or fans or something. I don't really know all the things, but see if a ball is a home run or not. And then they expanded it to regular season. And then, but Seelig doesn't want to expand it because it will increase the time of the game. Well, um, Mr. Seelig, I have almost enough respect for you. You've done some silly things in the past. But honestly, okay, if you're a baseball fan, you are going to watch the game that you're at or wherever. You're going to stay there as long as you want to. Uh, if you're just a casual fan, you're not going to stay any longer anyways. So who cares? Um, if you're not a baseball fan, you're probably not going to be one. So trying to make the game shorter isn't really going to help. Um, Red Sox and Yankees really aren't helping the matter by taking forever. Taking probably, I think it's like three and a half on average just for a decent game. It's probably, I think it's four hours and something more if it gets out of hand. But any, he, Instant replay should be implemented for every controversial call. Not balls and strikes. Not a bang bang play like did he touch second when he was trying to double play? Did, but like what happened last night? That I've heard in the Stanley Cup game, there's two replays that saved the game from being pathetically what turned out to be in the MLB for the perfect game. Now, instant replay would be put into the fact of this discussion, like these kind of situations. You're not going to really lengthen the time any longer than it currently is. Honestly, it's not. I don't care what Bud Seelig or anybody thinks. You can make a way to get this done really quick. It's like, you know what? He was out. He was safe. Those kind of... He touched... He caught the ball. He tried, I don't... Those kind of... It's these kind of things. I don't really know how to... Well, how much would do. But that stuff should be able to be replayed. You know what? I don't... Human error has been a part of the game for years, yes, but we have the technology. You should get the call right, no matter the cost and re reality. If that call was right, Galarraga would have pitched the 21st perfect game in MLB, uh, MLB history and the third one this year. Currently, the two this year tie a record of two back in 1883, I believe. It was, it's 1800-something. can't remember the year exactly, but yeah. Uh, the two this year currently are record tying. The third one would have been record breaking. It was um, this game is a perfect game in everybody's eyes. Even Jim Joyce, who blew the call, everybody's eyes, including Bud Selig's, except the MLB record books because Bud Selig has refused to overturn the call and make the game a perfect game, which it was. This game. I don't know, do, could the official scorer do, make a, give Kaber an error and give it a no hitter? I don't know. Is that right to Cabrera at all? Is it? Because I'm not a Tigers fan, but any baseball fan should be outraged by this. Understand, I understand there have been blown calls that, that cost the World Series for the Royals winning it over the Cardinals. I understand these things. There have been plenty of blown calls that way. But honestly, we have the technology now. Get the call right! And this is pretty much Bud Selig's fault for not wanting to expand a replay at all and leaving it how it is. And that he could have done the right thing. He should have done the right thing, but he did not and he will not overturn the call. However, to show that all is good and fair here, um, give me, I'll give you the story a little bit. Um, Galarraga presented the, um, the lineup card for today to Jim Joyce, who was today's home plate umpire. And, um, it's kind of, 
kind of show there's no hard feelings there. And Bud Selig did not do the right thing. He had the chance to and should have done the right thing, but he did not. So. Thank you, Mr. Selig, for ruining baseball again. I, I, I don't really mean that, but still, you should have done the right thing, sir. You, you should have. 